Alright guys and girls, welcome to another episode of Astral Auto Repairs. Can you dig it? Alright, check this out. Y'all seen a, lot, a few videos ago, I tried to get Sylvia to say, can you dig it? And she would not do it whatsoever. So, Sylvia's going to do the intro of this truck. And she's got her little uh, model, her little saying that she's going to do. Okay? There you go. Yeah. All right, so welcome to Astro Auto Repairs. Today we have a 2013 Ram 1500, and um, it, when you turn the key, it just clicks. So, oh, I forgot to do my thing. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now Timmy's gonna take over and diagnose the vehicle. Okay, stay tuned. All right, just like Sylvia said, we got a vehicle here, 2013. We got, the car just clicks. <coughs> Matter of fact, let's get you close up to it. Now we have no idea what the heck going on. Alright, I'm gonna go in here and try to start this. And this is what we got. That's it guys, that's all we got. It's the 5.7 Hemi. I have no idea what's going on right now, but right off the top, I'm gonna go over here and uh, this battery terminals are really clean. Everything's tight. You know, what I'm gonna do is get me a, a voltmeter, make sure we got 12 volts at the battery. And if we don't, I'm gonna give it a jump be a starter who knows all right be right back all right guys I got my vantage hooked up because and, and I don't like I don't like to use this guys and I, I, I use I try to use it as less as possible because our channel is geared toward the do-it-yourself and that's what I want um, my multimeter went out on me get, get your the multimeter is the best thing to use for this thing um, I got no business using this unless you just help me get me a, get me one and find out all right you can see we're on voltage. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you can see that. All right, let's hook up. I got positive. I want a positive or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want positive. All right, let's hook up on negative. Oh, did we just see what I just thought we saw? Look at that. Nine and a half. Nine and a half, nine point six volts. This thing is definitely battery is definitely weak. <laughs> All right, so you know what? Um, I'm gonna see if I can see if sometimes you can. I don't know if this is the original battery, but 2013, man. Dang it, man! The battery shouldn't be dead. I'm gonna find out maybe something left on. But I can disconnect this right now. What I'm gonna do is hook up a jump to it. And the problem with this is. Uh, my batteries is on the other side of this truck so luckily luckily I got a another battery and I'm gonna hook up some jumper cables to it and we'll see if we can hopefully can jump it off just like that to turn over this Hemi all right bear right back all right you guys and girls check it out got me a battery I have my battery inside the truck thanks for why <laughs> Hook up my jumping cables <clears throat> to it, and uh, hopefully this thing will get over here and start. See, I got a squeeze between here. Yo, yo, check this out! Check this out! Yeah, look at this car. We're gonna be doing a fuel pump on this. This is 1967 Ford Galaxy. Yeah, we're gonna be doing a fuel pump on that, guys. Check, that's gonna be so easy to do. Hey, and I got a, I got a question for you too. Check this. Let me, let me, let's go over here. Let's go here, it's convertible. Maybe six and seven, eight. Galaxy 500. This guy got, got the, all right, it's got the 390 in it. Oh, Eric the car guy. Eat your heart out, buddy. Nah, I wouldn't even attempt the racing. I don't care what I put in. He walk all over this car. Oh, there you go, look at that. Look at that interior. Yeah, let's sit inside here, look at that. Uh. Yeah, oh man, this is house down in this, in this front bench seat, man. When was the last time you seen a bench seat on the side of a school bus or something? 
was like, <coughs> man, look at that, man. And the fan, AM radio. Well, he got a little radio down there. That's cool, cool. Left it in there. You got no choice, really. Man, look at this. Look at this car, guys. 17544. That's probably went over. It's probably 117. But uh, this is, man, these are cars. These are cars. Hey, I got a, a matter of fact, I got a question for you guys. Scotty Kilmer did a, um, he's got a Lincoln, old school Lincoln. And it's a big debate going on on his channel about what's on that, on that video, which is safer. The big cars of, of yesterday, like this, or the newer cars. Now, now on his channel, I mean, I don't, I don't appreciate it on his channel. They was like cursing and calling each other names and all that. We're not going to do that on our channel. <laughs> so we're just going to be a, a good debate on which is um, stronger. Those cars or the cars of today. My opinion, everybody's saying, you know, the newer cars, it got the crumple zone and all that. But when you're in something like that and you hit something of the newer cars today, you don't need no crumple zone. <laughs> that would cause a ball through that car. All right. Except for something like this. Now, this is something, this is kind of bigger, but that'd be a good hit. Alright, let's see what we got here. Alright, start it up. Alright. Let's bring this window down just so I don't know, just in case it's automatic lock on the doors. Uh, I don't know. The lights are off. Make sure, yeah. Making sure maybe he left something on or maybe, maybe we got a weak battery. Side. Make sure the doors are closed. They are. Now we're gonna unhook our battery. Then we're gonna get our multimeter again. And check the charging system. As soon as I get this off, I'm having a hard time. There we go. All right. Yeah, the old channel wasn't no good. It started dying on it by now. But we're gonna hook up our multimeter. And we're gonna check it out. We're gonna cut the headlights on. And see what kind of charging we got. Maybe it's got a, a gauge inside. No. All right. We're gonna hook that up. We're gonna check it. Grab that. All right. Here we go. All right. It looks like it's fun. Die out. Maybe uh, maybe just the idle going down. In fact, I think I hear the oil smell whistling. So. Over here and cut our headlights on. Put a little load on it. Hey right, Tim, that's the that's the wipers. So here we go. Put our headlights on over here. Okay. Still at 14. And you want to do that because as you put a load on it, if, if the alternator got a bad diode or something, when you put start putting them loads on it, that bolt is going to start dropping. Held right up there, good. So we good. We're good to go. Alright, let me unhook all this and I'll be right back. <laughs> Alright, check it out. You can tell I love doing this, man. This is my business right here. I love it. Alright, we spoke to the customer. The customer said, You've been having trouble problems starting to cause sometimes it would drag a little bit so what we're gonna do is change the battery out for them or we got it jumped not to give the business out to nobody but you can also go to your local auto parts store auto zone advanced that we know of maybe o'reilly one of those they sell the battery and they install it for free but you got to be careful with that because 
we noticed that they will price their batteries so they, they got that charge in there already so do your research on that check a, um like napa or somebody who don't change the battery see how much their batteries are compared to there and you'll notice that difference all right but um that's what we're gonna do quick nice easy check it out time to move on to the next vehicle this is timmy from astral auto repairs if we can't repair it nobody can and guys you gotta check it out and some of you guys like angel been commenting on our channel and saying you guys are about to blow up yeah it looks that way we taking them out <laughs> take it easy